Now we have done this in three point perspective. We've rotated things along a vertical axis and we've rotated things along an axis that goes to the right vanishing point. And what is left over is an axis that goes to the left vanishing point. So I thought we'd do um, something specific instead of just kind of a random shape. So let's make, we'll make a glass and we'll draw an ice cube falling into the glass. So um, we'll have to decide on an angle here for the ice cube. And let's, we're just gonna make it a little piece of a glass it something like this. This is how I'm going to start a drawing, just so that's an idea and just kind of sketching it in. It's going to change, of course, because once you <clears throat> put in all the perspective, that's what the perspective is for, is fixing all these lines. So this is one huge circle for the glass, but you don't need to draw the whole glass in there. We're just going to draw 25% of the glass. So here's here's our circle for our glass. And we this is not going to be in the picture so we don't really even need to draw that. We're just going to draw this part. So we have these three points. You could make more if you wanted to, but I'm just going to draw this. This is a square also just like the bigger square. So if I have a square, draw a square, and then um, do a 45 degree angle line, and these are the easy points to find, and then this one isn't too hard to find either. So let's, I, I already did a diagram for us that we talked about before, how to set something like this up. This is kind of a specific diagram, and I made it a little bit easier for drawing this um, this uh, class. As I, I set this up right in the middle of these two, the distance between here and here, they're the same. So that means the angles that these draw are 45 degrees. I guess we could put the class in a particular place. Let's see. I'm going to put this on tracing paper. This way. Interesting fold along the tracing paper. So let's make our square or quarter of the 25% of the, the glass. And I'm going to make it, let's see, we'll do this. This one, here's my 45 degree angle line. So any place that I do this with, and it hits here, this is a square. I put the cone of vision in here because I don't want to draw this thing too far outside the cone of vision. It's going to start looking strange. So, um, here is here's this part, and this point is here, and this point would be here. I just need the the point along this diagonal line, so I would probably approach it like like this. Um, we did this, this eight point ellipse. And this, if I make this 90, 
and make a 45 degree angle line. And I have to jump over that little fold. I don't know how that happens. And then take my compass And there is my quarter of a circle. So I take this point and extend this straight up and then go back to this vanishing point. And I get that spot. So that spot is this spot in perspective. Now, if I was so inclined, I could do like more points along this curve. But I think I'm just going to keep it like that. And then just connect these. By the time I get over to here, I'm getting close to being outside that cone of vision. I could continue. There's not too far. I'm going to crop it pretty close here. So I'm just going to be like right there. And that is the edge of my, my glass. So I haven't really decided yet where it is in space. It could be a very small glass, really close, or it could be a really huge glass far away. So, um, well, I, I really actually don't need to figure that out yet. So I'm going to um, decide later where this is in space. So I have the 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 curve here of the glass. Now let's we'll put the um, the ice cube in here next.